Imagine you're running a household. You have a budget, bills to pay, and maybe some savings goals. Balancing it all can be tricky, right? Well, governments face a similar challenge, except their budget affects millions of people and the entire economy. That's where fiscal policy comes in. Fiscal policy is like the toolkit governments use to manage the economy. It's all about how they collect money through taxes and then spend it on things like infrastructure, healthcare, education, and defense. By adjusting these levers, governments can influence inflation, unemployment, and overall economic growth. So why should you care? Fiscal policy impacts your everyday life. It affects the job market, the cost of living, and even the quality of public services you receive. Understanding how it works empowers you to participate in conversations about the economy and hold your leaders accountable. In this video, we'll delve deeper into the different types of fiscal policy, how it works, and pros and cons of fiscal policy. In the next video, we'll explore how does it affects people, debunk common myths, and equip you with the knowledge to navigate the fascinating world of fiscal policy. Are you ready? Let's get started. Let's explore how fiscal policy works. At its core, fiscal policy works through two main tools, taxes and government spending. By adjusting these, governments can influence the overall level of economic activity. In the following paragraphs, I will discuss these two. First, impact of taxes. Think of taxes like taking money out of the economy. When governments raise taxes, people and businesses have less money to spend, which can slow down economic growth. But the tax revenue can be used to fund important things like infrastructure, education, and social programs, which can also boost the economy in the long run. Second, impact of government spending. On the other hand, when governments increase spending, it's like injecting money into the economy. This can stimulate demand, create jobs, and boost businesses. Think of building new roads, investing in renewable energy, or providing unemployment benefits. These all put money back into people's pockets and can kickstart economic activity. The Balancing Act The key is finding the right balance. Too much government spending without enough tax revenue can lead to deficits and inflation. Conversely, high taxes and low spending can dampen economic growth. Governments constantly grapple with this balancing act, aiming to achieve their economic goals while keeping the budget in check. Now let's explore the main types and how they can affect our economic journey. 1. Expansionary Policy Imagine a gentle breeze filling the sails, propelling the ship forward. Expansionary policy aims to stimulate economic growth by injecting money into the economy. This can be done through Increased government spending Think infrastructure projects, research grants, or social programs. This injects money directly into various sectors, creating jobs and boosting demand. Tax Cuts Imagine putting more coins in your pocket. Tax cuts leave people with more disposable income, increasing spending and consumer confidence. Let's focus on its impact. This policy can be helpful during recessions or periods of slow growth, boosting employment, output, and overall economic activity. However, it can also lead to higher deficits and inflation if not managed carefully. 2. Contractionary Policy Picture the captain tightening the sails in rough seas. Contractionary policy aims to slow down economic growth and curb inflation by Decreased government spending This reduces the amount of money circulating in the economy, dampening demand and inflationary pressures. Tax Increases Imagine taking some coins out of your pocket. Higher taxes reduce disposable income, leading to less spending and potentially lower inflation. Let's focus on its impact. This policy can be useful to combat overheating economies or excessive inflation. However, it can also lead to slower growth and job losses if implemented too aggressively. 3. Neutral Policy Imagine steady winds and calm seas. Neutral policy aims to maintain a stable economic environment by keeping government spending and taxes at a level that roughly balance the budget. This approach aims for maintaining a constant level of government spending, no major increases or cuts keeping the economic impact neutral, taxes set to cover government spending, no significant surpluses or deficits aiming for fiscal balance. 
let's focus on its impact. This policy can be suitable for periods of moderate economic growth and stable prices. However, it may not be effective during times of significant economic fluctuations requiring adjustments towards expansionary or contractionary measures. Now let's discuss the pros and cons of fiscal policy. First, pros. Imagine the economy as a vast ocean liner and fiscal policy as its engines and rudder. By adjusting taxes and spending, governments can steer the ship toward calmer waters or navigate through choppy seas. Here's how fiscal policy can bring sunshine. 1. Boosting the economy. Increased government spending, like building bridges or investing in clean energy, can inject money into the system, creating jobs and businesses. Think of it as throwing a life preserver to struggling sectors, giving them a much-needed lift. 2. Smoothing the waves. During economic downturns, governments can act like lifeguards, lowering taxes or providing unemployment benefits. This helps people stay afloat and prevents the economic storm from getting worse. 3. Investing in the future. Fiscal policy can be used to fund essential services like education, healthcare, and infrastructure. These are the anchors that hold society together, ensuring everyone has a chance to thrive and contribute. Second, cons. However, like any powerful tool, fiscal policy comes with its own set of challenges. Here are some potential storm clouds to watch out for. 1. Crowding out the crowd. When governments spend too much, they can compete with private businesses for resources. Imagine two ships trying to navigate the same narrow channel. It can lead to congestion and slow everyone down. 2. Debt's heavy anchor. Persistent deficits and borrowing can pile up a mountain of debt, weighing down future generations and limiting the government's ability to act in times of crisis. Think of it as dragging a giant anchor behind the ship. It becomes harder to maneuver and respond to changing tides. 3. Inequality's rough waters. Certain fiscal policies, like tax cuts for the wealthy, can widen the gap between the rich and the poor. This can create choppy waters for social mobility and leave some people struggling to stay afloat. Remember, fiscal policy is a complex tool and its effectiveness depends on careful navigation. By understanding both its strengths and weaknesses, we can work together to steer the economy towards a brighter future for all. That's it for today. If you think this video is helpful, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Imagine you're running a household. You have a